we're gonna put the 1300k and the 7800 xtd head to head in 1080p 4040p and 4k with the 4090 how will the cpus perform as we increase the resolution and hit gpu bottleneck will there be a difference in 4k we're about to find out and as always we begin with the lower run now for each run and for all the results we are taking the average of five runs this is to account for the run to run performance variance you get from running different servers on star citizen and for the specs please take a look in the description below you'll find all the hardware used for this video both the Intel system and amd system laurel shows that in 1080p and 440p even with clouds at very high the 490 is not being fully utilized and looking at the utilization graph we can see that we are roughly in the high 90s percent utilization which still indicates that we are completely cpu bound at 1440p and below it's only when we get to 4k that we're seeing a similar performance in the average and five percent max frames for the both cpus however the 1300k happens to perform much better when it comes to one percent low by performing roughly 10 percent above the 7800x3 and by now we're pretty much gpu bound but the Intel system strengthens the one percent low making the game feel much much smoother however taking a look at the gpu utilization we can see that there's still room for improvement as in the beginning of the benchmark the gpu was not running at 100 percent consistently so there's probably an additional 10 percent in 1% low that could either be achieved by higher CPU clocks or higher RAM speeds. Whoa, 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 game day, you said faster CPU clocks and faster RAM speeds, but you're running a 1300K at 5.8 GHz and RAM at 8200 MHz. Well, for those who don't know, there's something called Silicon Lottery in the CPU space. And what that means is that if you are lucky, you could have a CPU that actually outperform my CPU at the same voltage. What that means is that my 5.8 GHz CPU could actually be 6.2 or higher CPU based on something called Silicon Lottery. By testing my CPU score on the Asus board for my Intel platform, I saw that I actually lost the Silicon Lottery having the worst performing score you could possibly imagine on the 39RK and I managed to get it to 3.8. But that means for you guys, if you have a KS version or got lucky in Silicon Lottery, you should at least be expecting in the 6 to 6.2 gigahertz range at the same voltage. What this means is that there's more performance to be had and in addition, by doing so, you can also expect a higher speed on your memory up to 8600 or 8000. 800 if you're lucky and there are systems out there that can get up that performance meanwhile the 7800 xtd performed very well getting 6400 megahertz with 1.3 volts on the SSC, which is considered winning the silicon lottery next up we're doing area 18 and as always you can copy the run yourself and you can see in the background how we're taking the route from the beginning of the haps when we come out of the elevator make sure there's no variance and we run all the way to the transit train and then we go all the way to the terminal this is the common route all of you guys will be taking when you spawn at area 18. one thing to note is that area 18 will change drastically in 3.19 which is just around the corner so i'm very happy i have done this benchmark while 3.18 is still live on the live servers so we can then do a future comparison of 3.18 and 3.19 to see how the clouds impact the performance if you don't want to miss that then please subscribe taking a look at area Area 18 in 1080p and 1440p, the results are virtually the same. Intel is leading on 1% low, and that's also true for 4K. However, in the top 5% in max FPS, we're currently GPU bound at some times of the benchmark. That's why we're getting a little bit lower results in 4K. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. As you can see in the GPU utilization, it's only 4K that we are hitting some tops in terms of GPU utilization. Finally, now let's take a look at Orison. If you want to copy the benchmark run, it is playing in the background. You can copy this yourself and compare your own results. Now, Orison is a very special place. It's the first gas giant in any game, so it's also the most demanding. Now, let's take a look at how it performs. As you can see, in 1080p and 1440p, the results are virtually the same, except for some reason. In 1440p, the 5% highs were just higher. I, I did five runs on both of them, and both CPUs, when I switched them up, got the same results. And in 4K, the results are virtually the same for both views as we are completely GPU bound. Now taking a look at the GPU utilization, you can see that in Orison 1440p, the 
4090 is literally just kissing 100% GPU utilization. Meanwhile, in 4K, it's completely 100% GPU bound. So in conclusion, both the 7800XD and the 3900K cannot max out a 4090 at 1440p. They simply can't produce enough frames for the GPU to become GPU bound. It's only when we go into 4K, it's when the 4090 becomes GPU bound in these cities. So if you want the most out of your 4090, then by all means, you should be playing 4K. Or if you're somebody who loves high FPS, the 4040p is also a great resolution for you. However, in 4K, if you want to have higher frames, like we saw in Area 18, just disable or do the clouds from very high all the way to medium and you'll have virtually the same FPS as if you're running 4040p in Lorville and other areas where there are clouds. If you want to see how I tuned both systems then please check out my other videos and I want to thank you so much in advance for coming all this way and if you like this kind of content please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.